okay, I'm going to fix this um, character. That's a problem with counter in size. When placing this character or import this character in FontSpark, what happened is the counter is missing, right? So the first thing that you have to do is check your character whether it's really, you know, um, has an aperture over there or have a counter over there. Okay. Let's check it first. See, when you place a color here in the background, as you can see, this is just part of the graphic. They've been grouped together. So, of course, if you import it in font font, it's not going to work. It's not going to work over there. So, what you have to do is first, okay, open Pathfinder again. Trust me, always use this, right? And then after that, okay, if you double click it and just look at the layer inside, you will see that, okay, this part right it's still not really connect with um, you know the positive space here so don't forget to use pathfinder okay go to minus go to minus click it right and what's the difference between the two after you use this forms okay let's create like a forms here oh, a shape sorry a shape here yeah as you can see here there's a negative space inside, right? So yeah, this character is really work on front box. Definitely work. So another one, the same problem. Another thing that um, you have to be careful here is you have to unite all the character together. As you can might notice here, there's an overlap part, right? Here, there's an overlap part here between ears and the body of this character. And of course, the reason why the aperture or the counter um, doesn't show in fun fog is because this is just another graphic it hasn't been cut from the you know the form that the form um, in the in the background in the in the back so what you have to do next okay and group it first okay and group it first and then just cut this part first use minus right and now as you might notice here now you know it's like um oh there's another line here as well if that has a line okay you have like you have to expand the line first all right so that it's become a graphic okay otherwise it's not going to unite together all right it's going to be a real problem here and then you click unite in pathfinder after you kind of like you know improve the character here and this will not have a problem anymore okay make sure you unite all the character unite all the character and now it's not going to be a problem it okay let's see shall we okay i'm going to like export it into svg just a test all right okay let's look at this g where is it okay i will do it quickly just export it export as okay svg this is just a test character so i'm going to name it g right use artboard export it wait for a while okay minify go to fun fog right okay i'm going to zoom in just a little bit um okay let's find the g double click on the grid window okay go to file import right go to import and find the picture that you save as svg over there in my case it's here i don't and I think I said it here. Right. Jensen. No, I don't think it's here. Oh, it's here. And then you choose format here, okay? You change the format from image here to SVG, okay? You will see the G that I export from Illustrator here. You import it. And make sure you don't scale it to fit here. Click OK. Yeah. Now, as you can see, you know, there's less problem here. Let's look at the counter. Okay. It exists, right? We can see the counter here. So the problem is you haven't, you know, um, cut the counters inside the letter chip yet before you unify together. Make sure you, um, before you unify anything, if there's, you know like a counter or negative space inside you use um 
pathfinder and then choose minus okay to cut this area right and make sure that if you have a stroke or something okay expand the stroke first all right before you combine and unite everything with pathfinder here another thing that might be a problem here is that there's too many of the unnecessary um you know point here if you can see here there's many layer of you know layer of point like this okay so what you could do is you know you could just join this um point together okay there's a command called um okay i'm looking merge here merge to line or merge something like that just merge them okay it did go to edit and merge okay just look at the um, unnecessary part okay you might check it first okay here there's some error going on for uh you know with this character you might consider to like join each of the parts here go to edit merge or join yeah okay edit let's choose join first yeah oh it's not working I'm going to like take a close look what happened here. Not so good here. Yeah. So there's a problem with this character. Let's go back and take a look what really going on here with the character. So just use um you can also um, choose A okay on your keyboard okay just press A to look at the angle point here and and just look at unnecessary um, vertex here as you might notice there's a you know some angle point that are not necessary to be there like this okay you can delete it if it's not going to like change your letter form something like this right this might not be all oh, right if it affects your character then don't do it okay but if it's not really change your character then delete it okay if it's this too much then don't do it okay i'm going to look at the compound part here everything seems to be fine okay it's a compound part nothing seems to be wrong here let's try it again like another thing that i could try is expand everything make sure it's unite together okay hopefully everything's fine before i export it okay i'm going to export it again export as right and then g2 svg export preset number right let's go back to g oh that's my fun fault right here i'm going to select g here by import import it where is it g2 here import it okay i already fixed the problem of counter but let's take a look okay now it's look fine okay now it's fine okay so another way to cut like um fix the problem with the letter form when you import it in the last rate data is um first just check your letter form right that um you know you already cut the counter inside the letter shape here you cut it first with pathfinder minus right here pathfinder minus bronze right minus one here right and then after that you group everything by using unite D don't use group sorry you have like unite everything okay together as a whole there's no overlap parts in your work okay if you have like a stroke here okay make sure you expand it go to option expand it okay and after that just e export this letter form it's not going to be a problem another thing you have to check is okay the angle points on your letter form make sure that um it's not too much okay if it's there's too many of the point here angle point here if you chose the error okay in front fork when you import it so basically how you kind of like able to fix everything here what about this one 
right check it first as you might notice here there's a lot of vertex here that is you know pretty unnecessary here so just delete it But if you delete some of the vertex and it's changed the letter form, then don't do that, right? Make sure that um, just, you just delete something that's unnecessary, like this one, for instance, okay? This one may not be... Oh, it's just bezier curve, then it's not a problem. I'm not so sure. Oh, let's keep this, right? How about this? Oh, yeah. Oh, this is angle point too. Oh, no, this is bezier curve. What about, how about this? Oh, there's too much. Then let's import this one and let's see you know whether this will have problem export it export as edge SVG use artboard right go click ok and then you go to edge crack the edge here and you import it Okay, import it. Now I don't think that's going to be a problem here. Yeah, the letter is clear. There's no overlap part here. Okay, let's close the window. Okay, the counter is visible. The open apertures, okay, or the negative space inside, you know, visible. So it's not a problem. 